Here we go. Hello, <laughs> YouTube. Today we're doing a Halloween special. Again. Part two. Wait, part two? Yeah. Are you calling Chris Halloween? <laughs> well. That's what I... They've got bats on and then spiders. That's about all the Halloween about. Though. The taste of that Halloween. It's going to be like a pumpkin flavour or oh. a flavour, should I say? There's a bit of yeah. it. <laughs> if you haven't watched that episode, I would definitely click now and have a look. Oh. Because they are... You can't click now, but there ain't nothing on there yet. Because <laughs> it's not Halloween. Oh, not at least second, but you know what I mean. If you watch this 20 years from now, you'll know what we mean. Oh, let's start off. Let's eat something first. You've got to really taste it Chris. Try these things. These should be good as Morrison's. Yeah. It's Morrison's, isn't it? Yeah, Morrison's. But yeah. I shouldn't screw these up, you know. But right now, I've got a life, shelf life until the yeah. 27th of next month. And Chris does it for next year, the first is the 19th of January next year. Don't mean I last that long. So we're in here because nobody's going to eat them, we can put it in the bin. Yeah. Start on a pumpkin. Well, That's you can a pumpkin. As you could say, it's a sort of a dammy... It's not greasy, it's like a jammy dodger, it's not greasy or anything, is it? No, it's just powdery. It's it's it to me, you know, I can't hold it. It's powdery, they've got like a... So we are, no, that should be great because Morrison's is probably one of the best bakeries you can go to. Oh yeah, it's been going for so many years. Eating something better than Greg's, no, to be honest. These their pies are warm when they come in the <laughs> shop. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can eat their pies straight out the front door. Morris, Greg, you got to walk out the home free when they open the cooking. I see the Mr. Kippins. Deep filled. That's quite nice. Mm. I haven't tried the jam yet. I mean, actual what jam. It's all in the middle of it. Lovely. Shortbread. I know the shortbread's nice. Some mm -hmm. from there is nice. Buy these. I'll buy most things from Morrison's Cafe because, you know, you won't be disappointed. And bakery's died. Everything from there. Bakery, bread. <sighs> That'll be the same. Oh, yeah, of course it'll be the same. We aren't eating very much of what we eat from I can't go, yeah, I'm eating. Exactly the same, actually. We just might have a different taste in icing. I can't put it down, it's that nice. I got this thing. What were you even sure what it was? It was one of the puppies. This one's one more. Something on it. This one's better because there's not as much. A... The orange might give it a different taste. I think because they put something in that to get the colour in. That's actually. It tastes better than the stuff you can buy. The shortbread you can buy, you know the ones that sticks, the herbites normally. It's just as good as that. It's not well, too sweet and it's not too bland. <coughs> My mom Karen, she did some shortbread ones. We could have built a house out of them, that's how you hard they were. I've you before. You've heard that now? Every time you've heard that now? <laughs> every time we see the mention, every time we eat shortbread or red shortbread, you mention that. You never saw it. And the mince pies you was on about that time, mm. you never saw them. What, you mean UFOs? Oh, yeah. Oh, um, target practice. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Play bitch and cheese. Shortbread's good. Yeah. The well, shortbread might have been good. <laughs> yeah, it means about four, four weeks of... There was not enough butter in it, that's all it was. I don't know if all too much sugar. There was four weeks to um, soften up a touch. Now this, this is you can actually eat this. And oh, this is true, you know, could have that. Stick that with a bit of nice green custard would be nice, but we can't get green custard now. This is one of the short ready stuff at school. Mm. Not like this, but it used to be a cake you know, with custard. Mm. And it was just shortbread. And it's lovely. I could eat it. I could eat this. I could, I'm actually going to eat it all. Mm. I, I know we say we don't eat it all on screen, but I'm not. Nice. It. If you like it, I do. I know because I've always been to Americans. <laughs> Good point, we've got three nice back. Let's have these chocolate mollies. Tesco's. God, you don't want to get them in the packet. Oh. Gonna be chocolate. You open it for me. Oh. <laughs> you got one hand. These are just gonna be the same. Look at all the stupid witch in the background. 
I'll throw you under the bridge. I ain't got a hole in the back like the Santas do. <laughs> no, that's true. Yet. I can't taste that over this jolt bread at the minute. Just taste what you call it, chocolate. Taste like the chocolate Calendar. Coins. Chocolate coin. Chocolate coins, chocolate. yeah. Really cheap ones and they're like no brand. Mm. You want to use some again? Test good. Let's go chocolate then. Cheapest of the cheapest chocolate. Didn't know which one. Not much else I can say. This is from the Perry shop. Scented. Sounds like a monkey. Top quality. Typical from the Perry shop. No way out there can beat that quality of the stuff you can get for a quid. The jelly spider. Why you pull it over there? I can't see it. I'm not going to look at you, am I? I'm bloody open it. God, yeah. Hell. Don't you want us to get in this fucking spider? Oh, it's stuck to the box. Oh, I really feel this is going to be the worst chocolate I've ever tried in my life. And I've tried, I'm really trying I mean, twi twi twizzlers. Back. I mean, there's nothing gone there. What's got in that pattern? If we really look at the back first, if there's any reason to do anything. It's probably full, full of sugar and shite and... you got sugar, 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 water, gelling agents, beef, something there. Uh, Home Crintons, sugar, wait no, Scar starch, acid, chemicals, 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 preservatives, glazing agents, oil, wax, E numbers, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven E numbers, and this is from your friends that produce in the public China, wait what? <laughs> Look like Rose. I think it was disputed by you in the UK by Rose Marketing Limited. I would ask them over the, the company's name or they're, or they're stealing the um, logo the from roses, roses or it's to, something to do with them, but I don't think they would bring out a product like this crap. You can look at all the fuels in it, look. Why well, are we looking at it so close? Oh god, it's all out of focus now. No, you left it on there, it's all gone all greasy. Yeah. Look at it. I have a feeling this is going to be like, you know the really cheap gummies you get? And then stuff, the white stuff is no the best in it, and that's even the worst. Just bite it, I'm just going to bite it anyway, I was. Just bite it. I mean, the whole thing. Like I'm going to enjoy it. I feel like that might be the greatest thing I've tried. <laughs> I know what that's in your side. I only taste it quite nice, but the spout. I can't taste it, you get gum with it. It's a good workout. I only taste it quite good. You can put it like that, you aren't actually putting cakes. <laughs> Looks like they're melting down to the sweet. Funny, did it say I'm in flavour? Do you think it? Do you say you think it's fun? <laughs> no, it says. Fruit flavour, it doesn't say what fruit does it, it doesn't say orange on it at all. No. Is it because it's orange and we think it's orange to flavour? No, but it's orange, that's orange, or tangerine or something yeah. like that. But there's nothing on that, but anything on there, it says orange. It's not, you know, it's not safe. No, uh, nothing on there, it's orange. It's not the orange peel, actually. <laughs> it, it's not safe. It's <laughs> not. Point this in. This is not safe for. Your sticks are there. This is not safe for Muslims. <coughs> Delicious, yummy, gummy. Yummy, what? I didn't even tell you it was a spider. It could have been anything. That could have been an octopus. <laughs> Tastes like the orange peel the more you eat it, doesn't it? The big white bit. Yeah, a bit of orange. Is it getting squirting the more your blood you try squirting it? your bloody eye. The more you eat it, the more it tastes like an orange peel. Yeah, this took it out in now. I thought it wasn't going to be the most exciting thing I've ever tried. It's not, well... It's not bad, it's just not good either. It's not over sweet. And it's not under sweet, it's... Too sweet. Look in your tears. Sticky though, it's not the best gum in the world, it's cheap gum. Well, if I give that to the dog, he'll be chewing it for the next two days. 
But that's what's it's a deliciously yummy gummy. Gummy what? Yeah. It was from the pound shop, a pound. So I'll go back a bit more and read it all properly. So we got, if anyone's interested in what's in it, you got 2,055 kilojoules of energy. You got 0%, 0 fat. I don't know how. It's all it is, anything. Carbohydrates, 68%. Protein. So how does it have protein in it? Protein you get from meat. That's seven point three fact. grams and point zero point zero percent zero point zero twenty two point five. Ugh. Basically point twenty five percent of salt grams of salt. It doesn't even tell you how much sugar is in it. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. It says with sugars, but it doesn't tell you exactly how much sugar. But because it's that much, I know. <laughs> Declare it, and it's come from the Pub Republic People's Republic of China, obviously. <laughs> It's not gonna go from a public vein, is it? Not suitable for children under three years. Choking hazard, good. You give that kid at three years old, the kid won't be able to sleep for a week. Without sugar in that. I know, they won't be able to sleep for three weeks because they're still cheering me. You imagine that in the road. A, the wind. a steamroller could squish what you get. <laughs> It's like you try to make it yourself, you buy a gummy, the, gl 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 the gelatin, but you put too much gelatin in yeah. it. <laughs> what am I for looking at? E e e102, E110 and E209, they have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. What? <laughs> <laughs> what well, <are> again? <laughs> well, what's pretty shitty? That was all bullcrap, wasn't it? I used to say that years ago. We never did anything. I was gonna review. I would be really review crackers. I said. I think I've said mentioned the jokes. Is it just how crap they are per usual? I need a drink or something. Gonna do this one-handed. Not easy. If you don't like loud noises, don't oh, watch I our can't channel. Do it. You can try. Loud noises. I have to put that in the boost of it. Hey. Oh. He's funny. That was good. Well, we got a really shitty rubber <clears throat> fly trash spider. We got a really, really the best joke you can possibly have. What do you call a witch who lives in a beach? A witch hut. A sandwich. A sandwich. Uh... Fright night. There's nothing scary about that joke. I mean, they had to know about. Not too bad. They go on your head. What's that gonna do with Halloween? Who has a Halloween dinner? <laughs> <laughs> you got a really rubbery looking fly. Oh, yeah, right. fly. I'll hit the rest for well, someone else. Do? Rubber fly? Yeah, that's a cockroach. Cockroach? I'd probably scare the heck out of some person if they didn't know what it was. How do you want this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. The best oh, one is. Yeah, the best ones are the stickers. I won't get any. A really cheeky rubber cockroach. The same. The <laughs> same joke. <laughs> what do you call a witch who lives at the beach? A sandwich. I bet they're all the same. I bet they are all the same. They couldn't think of a fucking joke. Wait, what? Crackers category one. Firework. It's a category category. Yes, one I have to. Uh, when I went to the till. They asked me if I was over 25. Do not you do not do not warning warning do not use close to the ear. Misuse may cause damage to hearing. Not to be sold to anyone under 12 years of age. Do not pull snap outside of the cracker. I tried that once. Didn't do nothing. Do not remove the snap. Do not pull near eyes or ears. Pull both ends at arm's length firmly and sharply to use the cracker. Hold at both ends, pulling away from the face. Pulling away from face through breakable objects. How bad is the explosion? Oh, we. People's pets always operate at arm's length. You say that three or four times now. Must be sold as a packet as package. Adult supervision required. Mo mo wait, what? Forget that bit. Uh, it's got 0.85 milligram. 0.8 milligrams of explosive in it. And these were. I'm just looking at it from, I don't know what I like that part. 
manufactured for RMS UK, Manchester, that's the price of Poundland. I don't want to ship out of the gunpowder from China in case it blows up the container <laughs> some the way. Warning, read information carefully and keep the f for future reference. I don't want to keep it for future reference. If in eyes, rinse cautiously with water for several minutes. Remove contact lenses if present and easy to do. Continue rinsing immediately. Call a poison centre. <laughs> Slash doctor, wash contaminated clothing before you reuse. How bad are they? Kill it, explode, kill it, kill, it, kill these things, can? Oh. Well, you went off with a bang. Well, crap, Halloween. See you next year. Yeah. Hi.